All right, welcome to Thursday, and we're going to talk about areas of circles today. Uh, you should have finished all the first two days' work. Uh, if you have not, today might be a day that will give you a little bit of a chance to catch up, because we're just going to talk about circles and parts of circles uh, and finding area. But you need to uh, take care of that and get it to me and get it turned in. All right, the area formula for a circle is pi times the radius squared, or pi r squared. Uh, so you just need to find the radius and plug it in. Remember, the radius is half of the diameter. Um, so if they give you the diameter, then uh, you have to divide that by 2 to get the radius. If we look at the first circle, we will write our formula. And then we will plug in. The radius is 6 because the, it has a radius drawn and a 6 next to it, so it'll be times 6 squared. And this one we're going to leave like this. We're going to leave some of these in terms of pi, so we'll call this 6 squared is 36. So we get, a, we get an answer of 36 pi units squared. 36 pi is like it's like a pi is like a variable in this context. You put the number in front of it, just like you would 36x. It's got to be 36 pi. It means 36 times pi, and it is the exact answer. If we put it into a calculator and get a decimal and round it, then it is not an exact answer. Okay, over here, this this one is a little uh, tougher. We have to find we have the diameter is nine, so the radius would be 4.5. And we type in, or we, we uh, use our formula, pi r squared. So we get pi times 4.5 squared. But I'm going to want you to, I, I don't want a decimal with pi. So we're going to let the calculator sort that out for us. So we're going to do 4.5 squared. And we get this decimal. And then we're going to change that to a fraction by going menu, number, and then we're going to choose option 2 for approximate to fraction. We get this uh, calculator language here, but all we have to do is hit enter. And we get 81 over 4. Okay, because uh, we are multiplying by pi, because pi is on the top of a fraction here, I know that because if any number is not on the bottom of a fraction, then it is on the top of a fraction. So we will put pi right there. So we get 81 pi over 4 centimeters squared. And there will be times when I will let you put that into uh, decimal form. And, and if, it, if you're going to put it in decimal form, you just type in pi times 4.5 squared, and the calculator will do that for you. Okay, another thing that they may ask you to do is to find the area of a circle when given the circumference. The circumference formula is 2 pi r. And so what you're going to have to do is take the circumference and plug that in for c. And then you're going to divide by, to solve for r, divide by 2 pi. And so over here, pi over pi is 1. 2 over 2 is 1, leaving r. Over here, pi over pi is 1, and 12 over 2 is 6. So we actually have the exact same circle that we had up here with a radius of 6. So we know we're going to have area equals pi r squared, area equals pi times 6 squared, and we know that's going to be 36 pi units squared. All right, but this one worked out nicely because our circumference had a pi on it. It was 12 pi. Okay, Let's see what happens when we don't have that. We've got 18 here, no pi there. You have to be careful not to try to make that work out. The, the, uh, the radius of this will not be 9. 
So you're going to write circumference is 18, so 2 pi r is 18. Divide by 2 pi. Divide by 2 pi and 1 and 1, so you get r equals. Now what I'm going to let you do on this one is put this into the calculator and get a decimal on this answer. So to do this, you have to be very careful. You don't want to say, uh, if you do 8 divided by 2 pi, let me see if this is going to work here. Now the pi button on your calculator is down here by the h, and when you push it, you get a menu and pi is the first option, so you're going to have to push that button and then choose pi by pushing enter. Now, when I do 18 divided by 2 pi, I get that. But you see what the calculator did? It's not dividing by pi. It didn't know that you wanted pi on the bottom because you, when you do 18 divided by 2 pi, it thinks that you want to multiply by pi. And you can look here and say, well, that didn't have that. It, the pi is no longer on the bottom. So what you need to do to get this right is to go Control, Divide, 18, and then 2 pi. If you put the 2 pi on the bottom of the fraction, the calculator will know that you want it on the bottom of the fraction. And now you get the correct answer, which is 2.865 if you round to three decimal places. All right, so now we have area equals pi r squared, or pi times 2.865 squared. All right, but we are not going to type this into the calculator. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get our calculator, and we're going to do pi, so to go down to the pi button by the h, enter to choose pi, times... Okay, now you're going to push the up arrow until that number is highlighted, and then you're going to push enter to bring it back down. And then all you have to do is push the squared button, which is next to the 4. And now you've got this really big decimal that's very accurate plugged in instead of you typing in 2.865 and, and rounding it and being off on your final answer. So we hit enter. And we're going to get for area, and I'm going to do two decimal places, so it's going to be 25.78. And that's in units squared. So when, you're ha when you have the circumference given to you, and they ask you to find the area of the circle, you're going to have to use the circumference to find the radius, and then you're going to have to plug that radius into the area formula to get the, uh, the area. All right, there's a couple other things we might see with circles. The first one here is when you have a, find, when they ask you to find the area of a shaded region, and it's uh, made up of circles, concentric circles. Concentric circles are circles that are the, have different radii, but they have the same center. It's kind of like, uh, like a target. All right, well, what you have to do is do the area of the whole thing and then subtract off the area of the unshaded here. So for this first one, you're going to do... Now, I'm going to write down the formula I'm going to use is pi r squared, but we're really going to do pi uh, r... I'm going to call this big and small, so I'm going to call it r sub b and then minus pi r squared, but it's going to be r sub s for small. The big circle has a radius of, you're going to have to add these two together, 3 and 2 make 5. So the big circle has a radius of 5. And remember to do big minus little, otherwise you're going to get a negative answer. All right, then the small circle has a radius of 3. And for some reason I put that in parentheses, that's okay. And then we're going to do it this way. 5 squared is 25, and 3 squared is 9, and then we're going to clean that up by saying that is 25 minus 9 is 16 pi. And we're going to leave that in terms of pi, 16 pi. And then it's meters squared. 
All right, over here we have a lot more work to do because we have one, two, three, four circles. So we're going to have to find the, the big circle. Now, here's the thing. This is three because every circle and every radius in this small circle is three. And then this is three, so that'll be three. So we got three, 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 and four. And we got three, and three, and three, and then three, and three. So the biggest circle, and the biggest circle is shaded in, so I want to add that on. I want to add the shaded and subtract the, uh, the uh, not shaded. So I've got three, and three, and three is nine plus four is 13. So I'm going to have, um, I'm just going to do right pi or square then plug in. So I've got for the big circle, pi times 13 squared minus, now I need to subtract off this unshaded circle and it has a radius of 9 which is the three threes put together. But see, the next circle is shaded. So I want to add it on. And the next one has, the next circle has a radius of six. And then the last circle is not shaded and has a radius of three, so I subtract it off. All right, so uh, 13 squared is 169 pi minus 9 squared is 81 pi plus 6 squared is 36 pi and then minus 3 squared is 9 pi. So the easy way to do this to keep it in terms of pi is we're, we know we're going to take 169 and subtract 81 and add 36 and subtract 9 so I'm just going to type that in the calculator without pi. 169 minus 81 plus 36 minus 9 and I get 115 times pi for the answer and there's no units in the problem so I'll put units squared. Okay, if you have a sector of a circle, a sector of a circle is just a part of a circle like a pie piece. If you're given a sector of a circle then what you do is you find the area of the entire circle and then you write a fraction that will take everything off except for that sector. I'll show you what I mean. The area formula is pi r squared then it's times degree over 360. And I mean degree of that angle that makes the sector. So in this case the shaded region has an 82 degree uh, angle there. So that's what I'm going to use for degree. That means that this, this shaded region is 82 out of 360 of the entire circle. So we, we plug in pi. The radius given is 7. So times 7 squared times 82 over 360. If I want to do this without... Um, getting a decimal, I would just type in 7 squared times 82 over 360 and then put uh, pi, but I'm going to let you just get a decimal on this. And so if they say you can, if they say round your answer to the nearest whatever decimal, then you just put pi in the calculator, pi button down by the H button, pi times 7 squared times, I'm going to do a control divide here, 82 over 360. And then enter, and I get 35.06. And that's in centimeters squared because we are finding area, and our circle um, is uh, has a radius that's in centimeters. All right, let's look at another one of those to make sure we have it. This time, the part of the circle it, we're looking for is 174 degrees and the circle has a 22 inch radius so it's going to be pi r squared times degree over 360 okay so that's pi times 22 squared times 174 over 360 so the only thing we're doing it, we're, differently is the 174 over 360 we are using the area formula for the entire circle 
but we have to multiply by this fraction to get rid of all of this. So we're keeping 174 degrees of it, and the, the rest of it, which would be 360 minus 174, we're getting rid of that. All right, so we're going to do pi okay, times 22 squared times control divide 174 over 360. This one's a little bit bigger number because of the 22 squared, so this is going to be 734.92. All right, so that concludes the notes for this section. Uh, you may now raise your hand and ask for the assignment over circles and uh, uh, show Miss Kennedy your, your notes, that you have completed her notes, and she will give you the assignment. And then when, as soon as you're completed, with, have that completed, excuse me, have that completed, you will turn that in uh, to the basket on my desk. All right. Thank you very much.